So we are in the wave in Arizona. Been here before and have a video, so I'm going to show some of the other areas that I haven't seen before and you may not have seen before, but it's the wave, so I gotta show it to you. Here we go. Don't know what the name of this area is, but when you're coming up to the wave, looking at it, to your left, you'll see this rock formation. If you walk around it, you'll find a spot you can climb up in, and it looks like what you just saw. So we're gonna check this out for a bit, then we're gonna go around to the backside of the rocks behind the wave, and hopefully find Big Mac, and then climb up a easier way. You can come up from this side. I've come up a couple of different ways, but this way around the back's supposed to be easier. So here we go. So that's Hamburger Rock. I'm not gonna make it to that. that that's just too narrow a path too big of a penalty for error. I need to lean to my right to support myself with my hand to keep from slipping and my right arm, I just had surgery so I can't put any weight on it. So, got some video of it. It's cool looking, it's huge, it's taller than I am. But uh, we're gonna keep going. Not worth dying for. Another very cool feature you can see from this side is the window goes into the alcove where Melody Arch is, which we should be up there soon. You can see it from the other direction, but really interesting to see it from down here. Oh, we made it. Whew, that's steep. Yeah. <laughs> This is one of my favorite places in the wave. Yeah, Melody Arch. The window. And just this alcove. Amazing.
So this is the alcove, this beautiful place right next to Melody Arch and uh, up on the top of those rocks behind the wave. So we're going to check this out for a bit, go down the other side of the mountain behind the wave and see some other stuff. Here we go. All right, this is Top Rock Arch. Really good views of the wave and all the people down there that started later than us. It's pretty crowded now. The lighting's a lot better, though, so they're going to get better pictures. We're going to go back up the way we came a little bit and then drop down the other side. Probably won't record much of that because i got to pay attention and not fall. A lot harder to get up and down that side than it was the way we came up. So if you're coming up here and you're not used to scrambling and rock climbing and that sort of thing, Look up the track that goes around the back side of the hill behind the wave and take that path. Much mellower. See, it's slick. There's no pride. Scoot down on your butt. It's better than falling. Just came off of that thing. That is the second wave. We just climbed down from up there. Second wave. Now we gotta find our way down here and we wanna get into that field of striped rocks. So here we go. So that got sketchy on the way down. What did you think? <laughs> I was hating that. Yeah, it's coming down this side or going up this side is serious, and it even got worse. Usually we stop at the wave level and go over to the wave, but coming down here to Sand Cove, it gets even sketchier. So keep that in mind if you're not comfortable with that sort of stuff, go around the back way. But now we're here. So there is a slot canyon, if you go that way, that we did a couple of years ago. You have to watch out and make sure, don't go down anything you can't get up so you don't get stuck. Those things change all the time, but a couple of years ago we got through that. We're gonna go this way and look for the boneyard and some dinosaur tracks.
So that was Sand Cove and the Boneyard. We're gonna go up a little bit further and hopefully we can find some dinosaur tracks. We'll see. There's some on the trail coming in and I had them marked, but I couldn't find them. So see if we find these. All right, those were the dinosaur tracks. There were a ton of them. I mean, some of them are pretty well preserved and other ones you can just kind of see shapes and you see the pattern that you can tell that it was dinosaur tracks. You really start looking and I'm looking over there because I think I see another one. They're all over. Yeah, we're gonna check these out for a little bit and then start heading back. You finally found your dinosaur tracks, are you happy? Yes. <laughs> That was high heel arch. Really interesting. It looked like it was just a pile of rocks holding each other up, leaning up against the cliff face. Didn't record much coming in because it's not much of a trail. And it's a lot of sand, a lot of uphill, pretty miserable. So um, yeah, now we're just trying to find our way back to the main trail. We're heading to the truck. Those are not dinosaur prints. They are. Mind the way. Okay. <laughs> 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 Kick your ass. <laughs> 